What's up, y'all? How you doing? I missed y'all, bruh. All right, listen, listen. This Demon Slayer game, about six months ago, I posted gameplay on this game with well, a trailer, pretty much. And I really didn't cover it a lot on this channel because there hasn't been much new information regarding the Demon Slayer game up until last week. So, you know, there's been a lot of things going on in the community where people have been like, it's a 2v2 game, it's a 4v4 game, it'll be like a battle type arena. So in today's video, I'm basically going to clarify everything. And I just want to say, first things first, guys, I fucking love Demon Slayer. You know, we watched the movie live on Twitch like a month ago and it was fucking heat, but... Aside from that point, so this Demon Slayer game, basically, it's a 1v1 game. The story mode will put you in 1v1 situations, and it'll probably have quick time events. There might be some type of free roam, but if we're talking about from an online perspective and a standpoint, this game is solely going to be 1v1. In terms of a 2v2, they're saying this is a 2v2 game because you'll have the ability to swap out, you know, your characters in a fight. So when you go into a fight in an online match, you'll have you'll have two characters to pick from. And you can swap. Like say I'm using Tanjiro, I can switch from Zunetsu, but only one person, two people will be on the battlefield at once. Maybe you'll have some type of assist. But for those of you guys that were curious, this is a 1v1 game. But here's the reasons why I'm not upset about this because this game is getting developed by CyberConnect. These are the people that develop, you know, great games like Storm, like Fighter Z, like, you know, the JoJo game, which I heard did really good. So I'm not really upset that it's from CyberConnect because, you know, CyberConnect has really came out with amazing, great games. So doing and, and good story mode games, not only just PvP. The story modes for CyberConnect games have just been top tier. From these screenshots, I can say that it's looking like maybe we might only get the base roster characters. And if they actually do that and we get like six characters, that'd be fucking ass. I mean, I doubt it. You know, CyberConnect has been known for loading their rosters. You know, every Storm game has had 40 to 30 plus characters or more. So with this game, I'm pretty sure they're going to have a big roster. Um, one thing I don't know is I really don't believe that we will get any pillars. If we get a pillar, I think it will be the Flame Pillar or Shinobu. I would, I would love to get Shinobu, but that's aside from the point. I'm not trying to get slayed. So the Flame Pillar would be really cool, and we did see him in the movie. So that is a he will be a potential DLC. Plus, I'm pretty sure there's like you know those little figures for him. That's gonna be really cool. Hopefully, we can use some of the demons other than Nezuko. This game will also be available for PS5, PS4, all the Xboxes, and Steam. I don't know if they're going to make a cross-platform, but if they do, that would be really dope. You know, we haven't really got the best anime games lately, so this could be the anime game that could kind of, you know, make our community into something greater. To where people that don't even play anime are just like, wow, that game looks fucking dope. And, you know, it could have that Fighter Z effect, you know, where it has something like esports or a competitive scene because it is a 1v1 game. So, you know, the, honestly, the possibilities are endless with this game, which is exciting. Hopefully they don't fuck it up. Well, only time will tell. In the comments below, let me know how you guys feel. Who do you want to see as, you know, potential DLCs? Who are you going to main? Um, if you do, you know, play this game competitively, who are you going to main in PvP? Me personally, you know, being a content creator, you know, I don't want to get beat up, so I'll probably will play this game competitively. I'm probably going to try to get OP on shit in this game, but who knows, maybe I'll suck. Me personally though, I just, there hasn't been a lot of anime games for me to do content on because believe it or not, in the anime community gaming wise, we really haven't had a lot of games for me other than Shinobi Strikers that I've just been like, I want to do content on it. But for this game, you know, I'm generally really excited and honestly, I can't, I, I cannot wait to get my hands on it. I mean, I'm sure it's going to be a good game. Honestly, time will tell. I'll be doing more content for this as we get new information regarding this game. So hopefully it'll be soon, but you know, we'll see. Um, if you made it this far in the video, I just want to say I appreciate you. Thank you. You know, we just hit 8k on the channel and we're fucking grinding boys. We're fucking grinding. Don't forget to drop a like. I love you guys and I'll see you later. Peace.